you know, you're looking out for a really cool, really hot subject for a video and then all of a sudden one descends as if from heaven into your own hands. A gift from the gods to be treasured, revered. And in this case, just downright laughed at, alright? This is a comment that appeared on my channel page. You're not a demonologist. My aunt lives in New Orleans and she knows how to really summon a spirit and have it appear telepathically. Alright, so, so, so this person is basically saying, like, my aunt is more powerful than you. Mm. Do you actually understand, like, how to think? Mm? Do you actually understand what we mean when we say a spirit? Do you understand that there are certain limitations to our understandings of what these things are in the first place? Mm? Mm? I mean, from a straightforward, practical, hard, truth claim position, yes, you are making some amazing hard truth claims, but they are merely claims, and they are merely hard truth claims. They do not have any objective reality. The comment goes on. You're just someone that fucks with shit he shouldn't, and who the fuck says I should or should not fuck with shit? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> If you summoned a spirit and never seen one of them, that means they don't want to bother appearing for you. Well, firstly, who says I have or haven't summoned a spirit? I mean, basically, I've done stuff and I've had some very strange experiences, okay? Which means, essentially, yes, I have experienced things. Just search for the Angel of Death experience, which I've written, which I've already blogged about. I might just do another video purely about the Angel of Death experience that I had. Alright, just so it's like fresh in your consciousness, so you understand basically where I'm coming from. Mm. So it's not that they don't want to bother appearing to me, it's the fact that I know how to think objectively about the phenomena and strange happenings in question, and you do not because you are a dogmatic fuckwit who is slowing down any form of intellectual process about supernatural subjects which means that if there is ever to be a time in the future whereby any form of psi phenomena is researched, it is people like you with your particular arguments and your particular views on the subject who are holding back the time when this time when like psi phenomena can be researched will actually come about. Whereas I am going the other way and I'm helping to speed up the process. All right. Think about it, you know, humans can understand each other better and the life, we can understand the human mind better that way and maybe do people's bodies some good and maybe communicate over a distance and all that kind of weird stuff. And wouldn't that be groovy, hmm? Groovy things are good. Things which are based upon superstition, fear, lies, and this kind of poxypathetic one-upmanship, you know, like my aunt is more powerful than you are, na 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 na. I mean, for crying out loud sake, you expect to be taken seriously, and you come out with a comment like that. It's truth. And just this stuff, this, this statement saying, you're just someone that fucks with shit he shouldn't. And who the fuck are you to sit there and tell me what shit I should fuck with, okay? I mean, Jesus H. Motherfucking Christ. This is why people like Thunderfoot exist, okay? It's people like this that means there is a necessity for people like Thunderfoot to exist and to criticize religious ideas. There is a reason for James Randi to exist and criticize people who come out with this type of reasoning, okay? And in that respect, those extremist atheists are actually doing some good because they're helping to weaken these strong arguments. But instead, they are strengthening another weak argument, namely an assumption that everything that we currently know is all that there ever will be to know about the way the world works. So, both of them are untrue. 
because they are both belief driven. Throw the beliefs away and develop some kind of rational objectivity about the subject. Because that's the only way that we as a species are going to try and understand how the world works. Not through defending religions. Not through defending atheism. Alright? Not through defending this sort of like hard skeptical political point of view. There's no need for it. What we need to do is to separate ourselves from these ideas that we believe in. Okay, these ideas that we, we hold on to or hold true to. And then to try and move further forward through objectivity. Does the greatest witch in the world know that spirits exist? No. He, she, it or they have only got beliefs based upon strange experiences. All we can say is that those strange experiences might have actually happened. But what they mean that remains an unknown. My name's Nick Dutch. And that's putting it mildly. <laughs>